All of a sudden, Jesus taught him a very valuable lesson. You're worried about a man defiling himself by eating with unwashed hands. It's not the eating with what, not what goes into a man that defiles him. It's what comes out of his heart that defiles him. It's the condition of the heart being expressed is what's defiling the man, not what he's putting in, but what's coming out. Amen. So God, Christ is showing them that what you need is a change in your heart. Amen. Not all of these ordinances to try to keep everything outside from coming inside. You need the thing that really defiles a man is the wickedness inside coming outside. That's what defiles him. Amen. This is the fallacy of the holiness movement. This is the fallacy of any legalistic movement. The Pharisee movement, the holiness movement, the, the fallacy is that we can, we can, through conduct and order, keep any evil from coming in and defiling ourselves. We dress right, talk right, go to church, do all these things, and, and, and we don't watch anything, and we don't, we don't listen to any bad thing, we don't do any bad thing, we won't let any bad thing come in. The problem is the thing that's defiling you is unregenerate hearts. The thing that's defiling you is not being born again. The thing that is corrupting you is that which is coming out of you. Amen. You need the word to come in and be a sanctifying process and the Holy Ghost to come in and burn out all of that and bring you into the position the word has for you. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's why putting on will never work. That's why uh, doing will never work. Amen. It's got to be his doing, our surrender to his doing that will come in and bring a change on the inside because the corruption that is in man is in the heart of man. That's why rule keeping won't do it. But I tell you one thing, if the holy fire of God has burnt out the old nature and burnt out the old men and the seed of God has sprung to life, amen, and you become holiness unto the Lord, it'll change the way you dress. It'll change the way you talk. It'll change your attitudes. And that which starts coming out of you will not be what defiles you, but what comes out of you will be the very life of God will be coming out of your mouth. Amen. And your kindness and your sweetness and your temperament change and all of these things that are taking place is because we've come surrendered to the word. And it washed us, and he purified us, and he burned us, and he changed us. And then when we become holiness unto the Lord, we will dress holy, talk holy, walk holy, think holy, feel holy. You understand, that's the holiness we need.